as you can see here we have number of food items and if i click on this vegetarian then only vegetarian food items will be displayed and if i click on this non-vegetarian then only non-vegetarian item will be displayed here so today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality welcome to 27th video of video javascript series so here we are using this dom content loaded event and then here we have this food items array with the non-veg and veg items and here we are grabbing our html elements and this function display the food items based on the filter so first it will clear the container and here we are filtering the food items and this is just a kind of validation if we don't have any items then it will display no items there and this is how we are creating the food item card first and then we are appending it to food container and here we are adding the event listener to filter the veg and non-veg items so first we are removing the active class from all of the buttons and then we are applying the active class to that button on which user have clicked and then here we are getting that data filter attribute so if we take a look at our html file here you can see we have data filter as all and after that we have data filter as veg then data filter as non-veg and its value we are grabbing over here and then we are making a call to our display food items function and here we are passing our filter that is all veg or non-veg and then here we are making a call to our display food item function to initially render the food items when we load our page okay so this was the whole code overview in case you need this code then github repository link is present is at the description of this video now before we take a look on our ui there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like and here we have the ui